You might think land reclamation is just about dumping soil into the sea to build up new land, but the real process is far more efficient than you imagine. Out at sea, the main equipment used is a massive machine called a dredger. Before work begins, the dredger drives a positioning pile deep into the seabed to keep itself steady. Then, it drops two side anchors on the left and right, which both stabilize the vessel and allow it to swing freely. When the giant cutter head slowly sinks into the water, the real work begins. Even the hardest seabed layers are easily broken apart by the rotating blades. By adjusting the tension of the anchor cables, operators can make the dredger swing side to side around the pile, allowing the cutter to carve out precise, fan-shaped sections of the seabed. Once one section is complete, the dredger doesn't just spin in place. Two rear positioning piles lift and drop alternately, working with a hydraulic system to push the whole vessel forward, starting the next round of excavation and suction. The dredge sand and mud are pumped into the ship, separated, and then either sprayed directly to fill the area or transported through pipelines stretching up to 15 kilometers to the shore, creating new land. China's self-developed Tian Kun Hao Cutter Suction Dredger is one of the most advanced of its kind. It can dig up to 6,000 cubic meters of sediment every hour, enough to build an island in just a few days. These giant dredgers are the true power behind turning oceans into land, 